Tanya, will Mayor Doug McCallum be able to fulfill his promise and have this municipal force in place by next year? In theory, yes, at least that's what we're hearing today, Mike. 2021, uh, April specifically, has long been the target date and promise of Mayor Doug McCallum. And today the province did admit that is an ambitious target start date, but acknowledged it would be achievable if everything goes along the timeline according to plan. Now, Surrey's mayor, of course, is delighted by today's news of the province officially rubber stamping this. And uh, he says this is the final step in the guarantee that Surrey will have its own police force. The time has arrived, and some would say it's been long overdue for Surrey to have local control and responsibility of its policing. Starting shortly, citizens and business owners in Surrey can soon apply to be members of the Surrey Police Board through the province online board selection process. Now, BC's Solicitor General has long and repeatedly said that policing is a municipal issue. And we saw Mike Farnworth use that distancing uh, perhaps nowhere else more so than when, when it comes to the cost. The transition process is pegged by the city at around $19 million. And if that price tag is higher, well, that's pretty much Surrey's problem, says Mike Farnworth. In terms of the transition costs, those costs are borne by the city of Surrey. We have been clear about this right from the very beginning. Uh, and in fact, um, the city of Surrey has put in place a, a five-year uh, in their budget um, transition costs. Okay, Tanya, so it sounds like the province is taking a bit of a hands-off approach. How do people in Surrey feel about today's announcement? Well, as you know, this has been a very contentious issue and those opposed to the RCMP leaving have really dug in their heels. They say that not only is there distrust in the mayor, but there's also distrust in the province and the group uh, Keep RCMP in Surrey says it will do everything it can to delay this transition. We are appalled at the provincial government's position at the same time that they are denying the RCMP uh, increased budget and manpower. We've got to go through this nonsense. So our message for uh, Minister Farnworth is that this is not without consequences to him and his government. And that group says they will actively campaign against any MLA who chooses to say or suggest that the RCMP should not be kept in Surrey. And they say they should have the democratic right to essentially put this to a referendum. Anita, Mike. Our Tanya Fletcher in Victoria tonight. Thanks, Tanya.